Hello, this is Steve again over at HVACPartShop.com. Today what we're going to do is we're going to install a 30W33 ignition control kit. Now I want to kind of go over with you what's all included in the kit. Um, we are going to have an ignition module. This is the new Honeywell ignition module. We got a back plate for the ignition module. It does come with everything that we need to get it transferred over to the new control. As, a, as a, using it as a new control, you're going to have a couple different leads. Um, the red one's going to be for our main valve. Uh, the orange one here is going to be for our for our pilot valve. It does come with the wiring nuts because we're going to need to use those with with those two wires. Um, comes with a grounding lead. Uh, you can see it's got a, a female spade or a male spade connect, a female spade connector on one side and then a donut end on the other. This is what we're going to be using to ground this unit. Um, it does come with a spade connector. We're going to need to have that for our uh, ignition wire. Uh, so it comes with that. It comes with a new flame sensor lead. And it comes with a new flame sensor. Now keep in mind when you're running with a flame sensor, when you're changing this flame sensor out, Try not to finger up the probe of the flame sensor. Uh, try to stay on the porcelain side of the flame sensor. Um, and then everything will go good. A lot of times the oils from your fingers will uh, kind of get that messed up to where it doesn't uh, sense properly. Now this also comes with uh, some manuals or some stickers, um, uh, schematics. Um, and these are sticky backs, so you'll just peel those off and you'll stick them on your blower door, on the inside of your blower door um, for future reference. Uh, also comes, this, this control is going to come with a diagnostic light on it. This um, also has a sticky back on it. This is going to kind of tell you if you do run into trouble what's, what's happening with the control through the blinks that it's giving you on the diagnostic light. So you want to keep that handy as well. Also comes with installation instructions. Um, if you go to page two on this in, of the installation instructions, it gives you two different. Uh, it gives you a figure one and a figure two. Uh, figure one is replacing uh, this new Honeywell with a Robert Shaw control, um, and you can see on this side is the old Robert Shaw control. On this side would be the new Honeywell control, which would be this control here. Uh, figure two. Uh, which is down here. It's going to kind of go over um, the old Johnson control and then of course over here would be the wiring for this new Honeywell control that we're going to be doing today. Okay, uh, the control that we're going to kind of go over today is going to be this Johnson control which would be figure two on the installation instructions. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I just want to kind of go over um, these two controls and kind of give you an idea of what goes where um, on the control. So we'll kind of zoom in on that and come around to the other side and then uh, I'll kind of go over the control with you. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you can see right here on the Johnson control, it's just got a little needle that sticks in there. Uh, that sticks out of there and there's no end on the wire so your ignition lead just pokes on into that wire end and then connects to the wire that way. Uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to pull that wire out. Um, that's where this spade connector is going to come in handy because we're going to strip the end of that wire kind of like this wire is here. We're going to strip the end of it and then we'll slip that over it and then crimp it down and then this then will plug into where it says spark right here. It'll plug in right there. That's going to take care of our ignition lead. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Um, number two right here where it says TH, that's actually going to be our 24 volts coming to it. Normally that's going to be a brown wire. That's going to go to our number six terminal on the new control. Uh, just so you know, on <coughs> excuse me, on this new control, right on this little ledge right above here is numbers. Uh, it goes from one to six. Okay, um, number six is going to be our 24 volt. Okay, 
Um, so that's where number two from this control is going to go to number six on the new control. Um, then we have a PV. Uh, that's for pilot valve. Again, now the, the spade connector that's up here is much smaller than the spade connector that goes to PV on the new control, which would be number three on the new control. So that's why they sent you this lead right here. This lead, what we're going to do um, with this lead is we're going to pull out our pull out our PV out of that, that control, out of, the, out of the Johnson control. We're going to strip the end of it. We're going to cut the terminal off the end of it. We're going to strip the end like this. We're going to tie those two ends together. And then you're going to take your wire nut and you're going to tie the two together. Okay, once that's done, when we get that done, then we're going to plug this into number three where it says PV. Okay, that'll just plug in right there like that. Uh, and then we got the PV taken care of. Now your PV is going to be coming from the gas valve. It's going to, it is going to be an orange wire. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of times you'll, you may have two uh, connectors, uh, two orange wires going into PV. That's okay. Just go ahead and connect both of them to that. Um, our next, next lead on this control is going to be MV. Okay, MV stands for main valve. Okay, the same thing applies to this, the, to this lead. Uh, our spade connectors here are pretty much a lot smaller than they are on the new control. Um, so again, that's why they sent you this other, this other lead. It's a red lead. Okay. Same thing applies to it. We'll go ahead. We'll strip the end of the old wire, uh, twist those together, and go ahead and put your wire nut on. And then that'll plug into number one where it says MV. Okay. Got that done. Okay. So then, the next one over on the old control, it says, number four, it says sense, okay? That's our flame sensor. Now our flame sensor is going to be, it's going to be this wire here. Uh, it's got a cloth back to it. Um, and you'll see that um, plugged into number four on your old control. Now on the new control, that's going to, your sense lead is going to come over here to number eight on the new control right here. And that's where that's gonna plug into. You'll see right here it says sense, you just follow it down and then that's where that's gonna plug into. Okay? Um, now, one thing I do wanna kinda go over with you because we do have another um, wire to connect, a couple more wires to connect, but I'm gonna show you something real quick. If you look at the back of this control here, it's got a metal back, okay? So this control is being grounded by the back, this metal back. That's why they have these spade connectors here because that's where we're going to connect all of our neutrals and all of our grounds. <coughs> if you'll notice on the, on the new control that we have, it's got a plastic back, okay? So there's no way to ground it um, through the control or through the back of the control. So that's where this green wire is going to come in. Let's get this out of the way. <coughs> Excuse me. We got this green wire right here, which is our ground wire. Okay? That's going to go in to where it says GND. It'd be number four. That'd be this wire, this, this one right here, number four. Again, like I said, it's labeled right up here. Um, so that's where we're going to go with it, number four. Um, so the spade connector end, we'll just plug into that. And then on the other end, we have a donut end on this, where we're just going to take a screw out of the furnace, put it through here, and then screw it back in tight to where it's grounding out against the casing of the furnace. And then that'll ground this control. Now there is a couple other wires that, are, that you're going to have to change over. We do have a blue wire. So either going to be a blue wire or an orange or a yellow wire coming from the gas valve. Now that's going to be our uh, common wire coming from the gas valve. Or, and where it's going to go, we're going to pull off our yellow wire, make sure that that's the one that's going to the gas valve or the blue wire. And then that's going to go to MV slash PV. That's going to be our common wire coming from the gas valve. Okay. Again, that's going to be number two, MV slash PV. 
Now you're going to have another yellow wire down here as well uh, that's connected to this side right here. <clears throat> We're going to take the other yellow wire and it's going to go to this number 5 which says 24 volt and then in parentheses it says GND, that's 24 volt ground. That's going to go to our number 5 terminal right here. Okay, and that's pretty much got everything um, Pretty much got everything wired up on it after we get to that point. Um, so I think that's gonna that's gonna get us where we need to be to get this fired up. Now once we do get it all changed out, I and I also suggest that when you do this, is you go wire for wire. Just don't start pulling all of them off and then try to go back to the new control. Take one wire off at a time and then place it on the new control. Okay, so um, once we do get it all changed out and we're going to test the unit, just keep in mind that uh, once we make a demand for heat on the thermostat, um, it's going to take roughly about 30 to 45 seconds for, your, for you to get spark. So other than that, um, we should be good to go. Um, glad you... Okay, so I guess that pretty much wraps it up. I do have more videos to come. Until then, I'll see you the next time.